And welcome back, everybody. It's Evan. We're here. We're going to go back through uh, Dungeons of Chaos with a higher resolution. This is the Steam version of the game. Uh, we're going to start brand new, fresh, uh, no saves, no achievements. Uh, and we're going to redocument uh, all the progress that we make on this. If you guys need to ask questions, feel free to hop up on the Facebook page or get onto the YouTube uh, comments down below. Ask your questions, I'll respond almost immediately. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to this. I'm going to try to do this without as much fluff as possible. Uh, you guys play this game quite a bit and just kind of redocument, make things a little bit higher quality for you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Breeze through the conversations, we gotta get the rats. And then we gotta go outside once we take care of the rats. I'd say one of the first things we do is going to be the arena. This is gonna give us the ability to go down below. Uh, because if we don't uh, at least do the first two waves, we can't get to the rats down below. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Let's get the spider's quest active. And go ahead and jump into the arenas, the fights. I'm going to turn everybody off for right now. I'm going to change some of the behaviors. Uh, mainly the spells. So it'll be hot spot for the time being. We're going to run with fire. Everybody's going to be off. Uh, for right now, uh, we're just going to let the melee folks do their thing. And we're going to skip for casting right now. Except for the cleric. The cleric can do whatever he does best. Because we're going to do all four waves here. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Thinking about it, we can just go ahead and use Mana Funnel on that for default uh, with him. So we can put him back on. So he's not wasting mana. The problem with this is you don't get regain your mana between the different rounds in the arena. So you want to at least in the first two waves do nothing but melee or mana funnel and then use your hot spot for the last two waves so wait Let's speed this up a little bit there we go and i accidentally over clicked here and freaking went back into that so let's nix that i'll cut that out in a minute save save often save often Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll get back into the arenas and let's get this thing good. Turn him off. He's going to be passive for the time being. I'm going to turn everybody off. Makes it really easy. Alright, let's fight. Next wave. Easy. This should be the same way. We're going to keep him, our mage, doing. Mana funnel. Let our druid come with these guys. Now with this one, uh, we can just go ahead and we'll just hot spot it. He is out of mana. Let's go ahead and put him back on. Good thing our mage saved all his mana. There's the achievement for the uh, for the rats. Let's go ahead and leave that. Go to save. Should have rested first, but it's okay. This is going to get a little bit too long. I'm going to cut some of the resting scenes out uh, so you guys aren't sitting here. Right. Let's go ahead and knock out the rest of the arena. Let's go to doggies. Just one wave. Should be real easy to find spot. See? And we got the axe. There's that. Let's go ahead and rest again. No stress, save often. Let's go back into the arena. New heal spells. So this is where mm -hmm. our mages and our druid will just burn everything down. Go ahead and put him back. 
back on auto. Easy peasy. All right, we got all that down. We got our first level as well. And while we're still in this cave, we're going to go ahead and get the mm -hmm. ring down here mm -hmm. for the achievement, the first secret. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you. The only thing I'm going to use him for is to identify our weapons here. And he did give us a key to get in here. You want to read the note? Read the note. Mm -hmm. uh, it reads, take everything, don't leave anything. Pretty basic gear. Let's go ahead and rest up. Some of the stuff we get in the locker there uh, is not really uh, that good. It, it's all starter equipment, of course. But we're going to run with what we have. Poison ring, that's fine. Not that I give him an axe. We are going to equip that as a swap so we can swap back and forth. Gloves for you, gloves for you. One of these guys don't have shoes. I drew it. Alright, so now we're going to be into the rats. Uh, just for due diligence, I'll show you guys the edges of the maps. There are some hidden stashes and bodies uh, around, but for the most part, uh, I will be going to the areas that have the stashes. You can just easily follow along. I don't like having them that hidden on me, so I like exposure and everything. See, our melee guys don't even get a chance to get up there. Mm -hmm. That loot pack is random. More rats, more rats. Nothing in that little cul-de-sac. Cul there is an achievement right here on this skeleton. Make sure to pick that up. First stash achievement. <coughs> go. We're gonna go ahead and rest up. We got it just a little bit before uh, the white rat up top. All right. You notice our uh, light radius went down. Uh, you can actually cast light, expand that a little bit more. It's not necessary. Uh, helps when you're running out. Right here, there's also a stash here. More land random uh, loot. There you go. All right. Right there's the king of the rat. If we go ahead and look at him, we see a strange rat. Uh, we're going to back up just a little bit and let's heal. All right. And save. Save always. Save often. All right. Let's get the rat. There are a couple more brown rats up top. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, circle the area and get them as well after this fight. All right, so we're going to keep everybody off. We're going to actually mark the rat. This way, our rogue, who has the sling... And our spellcasters will target him first. Uh, I'm also going to use the dangerous ally skill. Get a couple extra bodies on the arena. They will divert the rats away from the party. Uh, take some damage. Uh, looks like they killed one. Yeah. Combat speed was a little high. I didn't notice that. You can always check if something happened. You got combat logs. Alright, let's go on from there. Sit back to auto. It's on normal difficulty, so this should be fairly easy. There we go. If you notice, the king rat died first. The remaining two brown rats ran. Uh, that is a strategy for targeting your enemies. If there is a uh, boss mob 
take him out first, and then everybody else should run, or at least lose the will to fight. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take all and get out of here. I come down, there's rats that patrol up here. Uh, go ahead and rest. Go. See, there's one rat. Stash there. This rat. Uh, I'm going to turn the mage back onto mana funnel for right now. Let him save some am uh, mana. There you go. Uh, if you are resting with enemies around, uh, you can be interrupted. It's best if you are really low to save or run. But they're just rats. Right, we're coming up here. That rat looks like it came down. All right, let's continue on. Let's see, we got a skeleton up here. There's quite a few rats. Let's go ahead and take our mage off. Uh, burn it. It's pretty easy. Not necessary, but makes life a little easier. Put him back on before we left, leave. More stash. Do some pair gloves. For this area. Go ahead and swap that out. Give him better gloves. He's got the same gloves. We can use those. There we go. All hand-me-down equipment. And that little cul-de-sac is empty. Let's go ahead and run back out. Get our light cast back up here. And back out. We come over to uh, our main guy for right now. Now, after having the rats, it gives us the ability to actually go outside, and we can leave. But let's go ahead and get mm -hmm. our quest finished first. And mm -hmm. he actually gives us uh, the instructions for going outside. Now, before we actually go outside, there are a couple of things uh, to our to do before that. Uh, if you mm -hmm. haven't done the arena, do that first. And also, we already did. Mm -hmm. We talked to Wartos about harm and spiders. Mm -hmm. He gives us a quest to kill some spiders. And if we come down here to Asquar mm -hmm. and talk to him mm -hmm. about the undead, mm -hmm. he says that there is a uh, undead tomb to the east that if we take care of it, he'll teach us how to do use holy chant because right now he doesn't teach it that is that unknown skill but I will go ahead and I will train and level up uh, the team real quick because there are a few skills that takes uh, talent points that you want to grab from the forehead and out that just makes things a little bit easier mm -hmm. especially with uh, your cleric he already has healing hands, so you don't need to sink into that. You just use that. But holy word, let's go ahead and train that so he at least learns it. Mm -hmm. Same way here, Tolgan, he actually trains uh, for archery. Everybody has a little bit. And if you don't have a skill, I recommend training it, at least having it. Uh, and you can use the skill over and over again to actually increase proficiency with it. There are a couple of tricks with that. Right. Mm -hmm. Our man Dalios, he will train Shield Bash. Really great. It can stun uh, enemies. Recommend picking it up, at least learning it. Anybody who can learn it should learn it. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking with Farnosis again, uh, he trains the Identify skill, Magic Lore, which is great for your magic casters, allows them to do more damage. 
and mana overclock for mages, uh, which he is proficient on, we can just use on a regular basis. So we're going to leave that uh, for the time being. The other trainer that is in here is Wartos. He will train your basic combat skills and weapon skills. But for right now, we're going to leave that. <coughs> and we're going to head outside. And this is going to be the jumping off point for the first part of the Dungeons Chaos Redo here. Uh, since we are at a higher resolution, this is the Steam version. Uh, as I put these videos up, I'm going to be taking on the old mobile versions that have really bad uh, audio quality. Uh, I will also have a vocal relink the uh, menu uh, video with that so you guys land on the new stuff. Uh, so there is not an issue with the quality going forward. Again, I do want to thank you guys for uh, helping out with the channel. If you have questions, comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe. Jump into the Facebook uh, community and enjoy. Have a great day.